I was really actually more nervous about this performance than like any other performance that I've ever done because I know if I fuck up then like tomorrow there's gonna be a bunch of blogs about me. <laughs> Gonna be like the New York City meetup was great, but that thing Dave uh, <laughs> Opie didn't quit his day job. Jesus Christ! Zane is a really tight knit community. Like it's really you know you can't really understand what Zanga is unless you're a part of that community. And like people really don't get it. Like when you ever been like reading your Zanga and then like you get really excited and somebody who's not on Zanga is right next to you and they are like what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Like one time I was reading a comment and uh, I was just like, oh no, out loud I was saying this. I was like, no, he fucking didn't. Oh, snap. And then the person next to me was like excited like it was some real life shit going on. And they were like, what's going on, man? I was like, this dude just said it. I'm just like, dear Ricky, no, he didn't. <laughs> and he was looking at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, dear Ricky, he's an asshole. <laughs> You don't get it. <laughs> and if it's a grown woman, if it's an old woman, we call them, we got cool names for them, we call them cougars, right? <laughs> if it's an old, old man, you just call him a fucking pervert. Like, that's... <laughs> pervert. Old, creepy old man. Fucking... Why can't you call him a panther or something? <laughs> cool name like that. I'm a lion. <laughs> it's bullshit. It would've been real cool if they woke me up, like, right before. Because, you know, you know you have the pee dream? <laughs> you don't just piss the bed for no reason. You piss the bed because you're dreaming and you're walking to the bathroom in your dream. And then you wake up and you piss yourself. You go, oh, fuck, it felt so real. When I was 12, a couple of times I woke up in the middle of the night and you just start freaking out like there's a dead hooker or something. Oh my god! Oh my god! I freaked out a couple of times and just like threw the sheets in the closet. Pissed on and everything. Gross. Gross. That many people from out of town. I know we have some people from far away too. We got some people from Canada. Yep. Clap it up for Canada. It's a long trip we made. Other reason we gotta clap it up for Canada is because I think other than people from New Jersey, people from Canada get the most shit just because, like, you're a bitch. <laughs> Why? Because you're Canadian. <laughs> it's not fair. Like, people from Jersey generally do some, but I have to say, <laughs> but I have to say, like, the people I've met from Canada, outside of Ricky, are really nice. I think, am I the only one who has that going on? No. You know, no, like, no. You, don't, you guys don't get made fun of for, for being on Zynga? Oh, you're Asian, you're Asian, uh, non-Asians, non-Asians, do you get made fun of? Raquel, do you make, get made fun of, you're like 15, that doesn't count. <laughs> Okay, wait, let me put this in perspective. I am a 28-year-old black man. I get made fun of for being on Zanga all the time. And I don't even mind most of the time, because like most of the time I'm like, you're right, you know, you're right. But sometimes it doesn't even make sense how they make it funny. Like this dude the other day, he was like, you on Zanga? All right, Britney Spears. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck does that even mean? A lot of people ask me today, since this is my show, I'm gonna talk about this, if I'm uh, quitting, if I'm really like gone, first of all, fuck Paul Partisan. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, and Ricky, this is therapeutic, man. Right? Like, uh, and Road Less Taken. <laughs> what an asshole that guy. <laughs> No, but I really, it's not because of any of those assholes, I'm, I'm so serious, <laughs> especially not because of Alec, it's not because of him. Um, I just, you know, I, I want to take time out to uh, kind of work on this comedy thing and, you know, not have to deal with so many Asians on a daily basis. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm going to wrap it up now. Um, thank you again. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Give our karaoke singers a round of applause. Definitely, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, and a note from Chris. For the future, when you're doing karaoke, Bohemian Rhapsody is to be saved for the end. <laughs> you fucking amateurs. <laughs> Alright guys, good night, that's my time.